Welcome back to the channel guys. Today I'll be playing some more Hogwarts Legacy. And this is a game I'm interested in at the moment because of the recent acquisition of mine which is the Ryzen 7 9800X 3D. In my initial testing at 1080p this game seemed to really do well with the CPU so I thought I'd give it a try in some actual gameplay at 4K and see if I can notice any difference compared to my um, previous system which is the Intel i9-4900KS but before that I'll go into the, some, some settings now so playing at a resolution of 3840 by 2160 but that's being upscaled from the quality preset with DLSS so it's not native 4K um, so that's upscaling from 1440p I'm also using Nvidia Reflex Low Latency but I won't be using um, frame generation in this video frame generation tends, tends to um, kind of let, make things a little less CPU bound and kind of puts it a little less stress on the CPU and that's what I want to avoid I want to see how much uh, of the game is still CPU bound even with a CPU like this um, field of view at 15 plus I've disabled film grain chromatic aberration depth of field and motion blur it's a personal choice for me in terms of the graphics everything is at ultra all the ray trace reflection shadows and ambient occlusion and the ray tracing overall qualities at ultra you do need to restart the game for this to take effect and I've already done so if you're wondering. So those are the settings I'm using. So far my experience with the Ryzen 7 9800X3 has been pretty pleasant. Um, very very smooth CPU, SIPS power, I'm only drawing 62 watts at the moment which is just insane to me because I've been playing with the 4900KS since day one. Before that, I was with a 3900K, and I'm pretty, like, I would say familiar with seeing over 100 watt power draw in pretty much every game. But to see 60 watt and getting this type of performance is pretty insane. But Hogsmeade's a special place, as you can see, even with a CPU like this, even at 4K with ray tracing, you're still CPU bound, and this is when having a CPU like this comes in pretty handy because it gives you as much frames as possible so with my 4900k so I remember I was in the uh, the mid 70s dropping down into the, the high 60s at times but with this CPU as you can see I can reach 80 at times which is nice to see anyway I've got a mission that I need to do I need to uh, go and grab some ingredients so I can complete a task have a quick look at my map just to make sure I'm going the right way. I'm going the long way around, but I need to get to here. So I'm going to run back into town and just go across that bridge a lot quicker. This is a game I didn't think I'd enjoy as much as I do because I'm not really too big on Harry Potter. But honestly, it's a solid RPG, I have to say. Okay, it's right ahead of me. Oh, hard work and good luck go hand in hand. Have a look around. I'll be with you in just a minute. Okay, so I've come here for Mandrake. Oh, I'm always thrilled when a young one makes a wise purchase. I can tell you'll go far. I'll buy a mandrake seed as well so I can make my own in the future. And some fertilizer. I'm pretty much broke now, so Doors let's just leave. Open. You be sure to stop by soon. Okay, I'll equip the mandrake now. For me to complete the assignment, I need to use this against two enemies. So I guess I need to go and find some people to fight. That shouldn't be too hard. Okay, too close to to town to use the broom, so I'm gonna have to run away for a little bit, get some distance from Hogsmeade. This game uses a tremendous amount of system RAM. I'm using 32 gigabytes of DDR5, and the system's using 20 gigabytes of that. So, you know, you don't quite need 48 gigabytes of RAM yet, but that day is gonna come at some point.
So it's worth noting I'm using um, Curve Optimizer and Precision Boost Overdrive. So I set the Precision Boost Overdrive to my motherboard limit. So it's not operating under that 120 watt TDP. It can exceed that. Most I've seen it draw is 152 under a 30 minute um, Cinebench stress test. And temps were pretty good. Um, I think I saw a max of 77. And I'm using the Arctic Freezer 3 all in one cooler. Because that was the maximum my um, also 4000D can handle. I wanted the 420, but um, I need a bigger case for that. But all around, um, the CPU pretty much holds 5.4 gigahertz, even with uh, precision, um, with, even with curve optimizer, you don't even need to do like an all-core overclock to do that. So uh, it works really well. I should probably go to the woods to find some enemies. The game is very notorious for frame spikes, so especially if you've just changed your driver, which I have, NVIDIA brought out a game ready driver for Stalker. Looking forward to that. Yeah, I should be able to find some uh, enemies in here. Absolutely no problem. I know a Merlin trial when I see one. Okay. Let's walk around. Pretty sure we're running into some walls or something at some point. Yep, yeah, got some walls over here. Okay, time to use the Mandrake on them. Let's get their attention. I should get out of here before more walls come. If I defeat another five mongrels, I'll complete like a, a objective. So I may as well take out as many as I can. There's some more over here. There's some type of enemy over here. I think we found some poachers. Oh, some sorcerers. Some dark wizards. Let's grab what I can and get out of here. Anyway, I need to get back and complete my assignment. Let's just get out of here. Avoid those guys. Thinking in terms of good and evil merely indicates a limited imagination. It's always the case with ray tracing games. They use a uh, Fair bit of VRAM. But if you got a 12 gigabyte card, it should be all right. Okay, why am I back at Hogsmeade? Let's check the map. I'm pretty sure I completed the assignment. And that means I gotta get back. Let's just check my quest. I've got one more class to attend. Let's go back. The soundtrack isn't too bad on this game as well. Game still suffers from really bad popping, unfortunately, and of course I'm playing this on a high-speed storage device, and uh, it doesn't really make too much of a difference. There are some mods to to help with that, but I haven't found a uh, 
a real solid solution to completely eliminate it. Just Unreal Engine problems, as usual. So yeah, a lot of frame spikes, as you can see. Really lets the game down, unfortunately. So I've got to learn a brand new spell, just so I can continue the main mission. Gotta go in this big greenhouse. The size of this place. So interesting. How wonderful to see you again. Is that so? I've completed my assignments, Professor. Pleased to hear it. Professor Weasley will be too. I'll be sure to let her know how well you're coming along. Thank you, Professor. Professor Hecate tells me she taught you Levioso, so you should be ready for a more advanced levitation charm. Wingardium Leviosa requires a bit of concentration and a nice graceful wand movement. Let's see you try your hand at it. When executed correctly, you should be able to pick up boulders as though they were sprigs of snowsward. Well, been a while since I've done this, but just about made it. Okay. So you can just pick up objects now and move them around. Okay, I need to equip this. Let's just get rid of that. That should be fine. I've set some crates out for you in the next room. Wingardium Leviosa. You're a natural. Okay. That takes care of that. Let's get out of here now. Gotta go and meet Matty at the castle, I think. So I just need to leave here again. Nope, that's the wrong way. Yeah, I can use my broom from here, so no problem. should probably make this an active mission so I can set a waypoint. Let's see now. Quest. Yep. Let me make sure I'm going the right way. I don't think I've seen triple figures yet, but that's to be expected. This game's insanely demanding. This is definitely going to be on my list for when I get my 5090, see if I can actually play this at native over 60 FPS, that'll be a challenge. Ah, okay. We're at Hogsmeade now, you can't use your room. 
So I'm just going to land and run through. And then I'll get back on the broom after that. Let's run straight through here. Should probably run straight through Hogmead first. Rather than stay on the outskirts. But the game does need a little bit of caching, especially after you change your drivers. So the longer you play, the smoother it should be. Kind of reminds me of Lords of the Fallen. That game's terrible when you just change your driver and you haven't cached any of the shaders. Even though the game does shader compilation, it still um, improves massively if you've actually spent some time playing the game. Okay, I think this should be far enough. So here's the castle. Who lived here, I wonder? Okay, it's not that one. Must be one further ahead. Massive, massive frame spikes in areas you haven't explored, it seems. Can't figure out why there's such a fuss over poaching. Okay, I made it. How would you like to learn the knockback jinx flippendo? Once you've completed the necessary tasks, come and find me in the greenhouse. Psst, over here, quietly. I am glad that you received my owl. We need to stay low and remain quiet. Lassie, what's going on? Why are we all the way out here? As promised, I did some investigating to find out what Harlow is up to. I followed him to the Hog's Head. I noticed him reading a letter. All I could see was that it was signed by and bore the seal of Victor Rookwood. And one other thing. Harlow mentioned you to his colleagues. They did not mistake you for someone else, did they? <laughs> no, they didn't. Rockwood and Harlow are after me. Why did you lie to me? And what do they want with a Hogwarts student? Professor Fig told me to keep things quiet, but I know I can trust you, Natty. Rockwood and Harlow want something Professor Fig and I found at Gringotts. When were you at Gringotts? Just before I came to Hogwarts. In fact, it's why I was late to the sorting ceremony. A port key brought us there after the dragon attacked our carriage. What on earth? There's one more thing. It's a bit odd, if I'm honest. Professor Fig says I have a rare connection to a powerful form of ancient magic. Is that the magic you used fighting the trolls in Hogsmeade? I think so. I'm still learning, but I can see traces of it. And I've cast magic I can't otherwise explain. I know it's a lot to take in. <laughs> it is. And I will have more questions. For now, it's safe to say that Rookwood and Harlow are a threat to both of us. To all of us. And we can help to take them down for good. That letter is the tangible proof that Officer Singer needs. It is why I followed Harlow here and why I wrote to you. I need your help to retrieve it. Okay, let's do this. I'll help you find the letter, Natty. I'm glad to hear it. First, we must access the castle keep. I'll check the main gate, see if you can find another way in. I do not see any guards, but we should still try to be as quiet as possible. Harlow is here after all. Okay, I'm gonna find a way in this place. Performance doesn't seem to change too much from day to night, still in the, the mid 80s. Gate Somehow. UT, number one. No one enters unless fair with the pack of the Ashwinders. Number two, anything you take from unwelcome um, guests gets split. Number three, don't leave until you've been relieved by your replacement. But these guys are just robbing people, anyone that turns up. It is frustrating that we do not study apparition until our sixth year. We could get past this gate instantly. Yeah, it's like somewhere I can climb up. Uh, 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 uh. 
Okay. Hmm. I wonder what that does. Let's push it and see. That did it. I guess this is where we use that new spell I learned. And now we can use it to climb up here. Yeah. We can climb on it now. I don't know how long this is going to last, but it's long enough. I need to find a way into the gatehouse to open the gate for Natty. Okay, we need to move this, but you can't use spells while you're crouching. I don't know why they did that in that game, so there must be another angle I can I can use to move that out of the way. Dead end. Must be another way in. Okay, the way is clear. That looks as if it might raise the gate. Yeah, it will. Use this thing. Arrest momentum. Let's pull this thing down. Well done. I will be right up. I knew you could do it. This way, I will get the door. She needs to teach me how to do that. <laughs> that is the main keep. My guess is that we'll find Halo and the letter inside. We'll need to be careful once we get. I hear them. Yeah, restrain the beast. Yeah. High wing. Do you know that hippogriff? Get this thing back to now. Very well. New plan. I get the evidence and you free that hippogriff. Agreed? This is our chance. Go! <laughs> Blasted. There's got to be another way to get up to the roof. Somewhere. We can definitely jump up I here. I hope Natty stays out of trouble. <laughs> Where did I set my traps? Mm. Let's move this out of the way. Wingardium Leviosa. Okay, I can access it from here. And I can use it to climb up there, it seems. There. Let's just lift it up. Let me also. Arrest the momentum. Not the safest place to sneak into. Let's push this guy off. Easy kill. Yeah, I think that's all of them. 
Unless one's still alive down there. I guess I can't open that lock until everyone's dead. Okay, that's how it's scaled up. Alohomora. Okay, now I just gotta pick the other one. Okay, we're in. Revelio. Guess we can just use it to climb through. I hope Natty's having an easier time of it. You're going home in a wooden box. I don't think so. Fought you going up on me, huh? Hello, Hamora. Yeah, we good. Revelio. make our way up to the top. I wonder when I was going to get to ride one of these things. There's the Hogwarts Express. Must be returning from an unscheduled run. This is a lot faster than a broom.
exciting. <laughs> it was exhilarating, wasn't it? I wasn't sure we were going to make it out alive. <laughs> there was no need to worry. I had it all under control. Were you able to find the letter? Summoned it straight out of Harlow's hands. <laughs> I will say, I did not expect to see him cast the killing curse at us. He won't forget this. Be on your guard. Of course. What did the letter say? That Rookwood's looking for a phoenix. <laughs> not sure where he will find one. But it also included Harlow's orders to inspect that castle for the poachers. Enough to connect Harlow to the crimes. I shall deliver the letter to Officer Singer. She'll have to do something when she sees it. Now. Tell me, where did you meet these hippogriffs? I've only met Highwin before. Poppy introduced us. Poppy Sweeting knows a hippogriff. <laughs> of course she does. Poppy will be relieved to know that Highwing's safe. I came to the right person for help. My mother will be worried. I must go. Seek me out soon. I shall have much to tell you. Oh, that was interesting. Anyway, guys, that is pretty much it for me. Hopefully you've enjoyed the video. And as always, thanks for watching.